Kian Corla. Kian Corla. Corla. Kian Corla, on the 29th of September last, uh, the government came into the House to introduce what became known as the Bank Guarantee Scheme. And in the legislation which the government introduced on that date, the guarantee scheme was to last for two years. Uh, the Credit Institutions Bill, which was passed, said that the guarantee would end on the 29th of September 2010, and it explicitly stated that it would not continue beyond that date. Now, last Friday week, the government published a bill called the Financial Measures Miscellaneous Provisions Bill, which provides for a number of matters, the transfer of university pensions to the National Pension Reserve Fund, a number of technical amendments to the Central Bank Act, a number of provisions to uh, insurance legislation and to legislation governing the use of credit cards. Buried away in part two of Schedule two of the bill, is an amendment to the legislation which brought in the Bank Guarantee Scheme. And that amendment lifts the two-year time limit on the Bank Guarantee Scheme and gives power to the Minister for Finance to extend the guarantee by ministerial order for any period of time. Now, the Labour Party considered that the Bank Guarantee Scheme, which was introduced by the government, was a disaster for the taxpayer. And as we've seen, we've been borne out on that. Every time the banks have a problem, the taxpayer has to put, we have to put our hands in our pocket. Four billion for Anglo, looking for another three and a half billion, three and a half billion each for the two, uh, the two big banks. Whatever one may think of the bank guarantee scheme, uh, extending it indefinitely and giving the Minister for Finance the power to do that by ministerial order is a pretty major step for uh, for us to be asked to take. And it should at least be the subject of pretty thorough and rigorous debate here in the House. However, not only has the government introduced this far-reaching measure in an underhand way uh, and slipped it into the schedule uh, of a rather technical-looking bill, but the government wants to take all stages of this bill tonight. The second stage is proposed to be guillotined at 7 p.m., and the committee and remaining stages are proposed to be taken between about 20 to 9 and 10 p.m. tonight. This particular provision of the bill will probably not be reached at all for uh, an examination uh, by the House. Now, I have a number of questions to ask Taoiseach. First of all, can I ask him, first of all, for how long more does it intend uh, to extend the bank guarantee scheme beyond the 29th of September 2010, um, which is uh, the measure for which the government are introducing the legislation this evening. Secondly, why is this being done in such a rush? I mean, if the guarantee as it stands uh, does not expire until the 29th of September 2010, we have about 14 months in which uh, we can consider this matter. Uh, and why is there such a rush to get it through all stages here in one sitting uh, this evening? And thirdly, will he now agree to withdraw that particular section of uh, the financial, what's it called? Financial provisions, miscellaneous provisions bill, it's straight out of Sir Humphrey. Um, uh, part two of schedule two of that bill, withdraw it from the bill that's being presented this evening and uh, allow the House to have a proper considered debate on what is, I think, everybody will agree, a pretty substantial legislative measure to be brought before the House. Um, <clears throat> well, I can't call it, yes, the Minister for Finance, I think it was in the documentation that was supplied with the, the budget statement rather than the budget statement itself, if my memory is correct. Uh, he did um, indicate that uh, there was a proposal to extend some, the coverage of some categories of um, debt up to uh, for a period of, uh, of, five, um, of five years. Now, I think the way to do that, Taoiseach, with all due respect, is for the Minister for Finance to come in and to explain that to the House and put a legislative measure before the House and to provide for it. Two problems we have with this. First of all, what is being proposed in the bill that you have circulated is not a provision for five years or for uh, particular types of debt. It's an open-ended provision. Uh, it's, 
explicitly states that the power is being given uh, to the Minister for Finance to do it uh, by way of order. Uh, there's no mention of five years in it. There's no mention of particular categories of debt. It's an open-ended provision. The Minister for Finance is asking the House to reopen, effectively to, to open the bank guarantee scheme uh, and leave the discretion uh, to him as to how it will be exercised uh, in the future. Uh, we've given one uh, blank check, it seems to me, to the banking system. Uh, now you're effectively asking the House to provide the banking system with an undated blank, uh, uh, blank check. Secondly, 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 what is the rush? As you said, the Minister for Finance uh, signalled something along these lines uh, on the 7th of April. This is the 23rd of June. Why do you want it done and dusted by 10 o'clock tonight? What's the big hurry? Why can't this be removed? And my request to you, I don't want to replicate the debate here. I don't want to have the debate here. I simply want provision for the House to debate this. This is a fairly major departure from what was committed to when the original bank guarantee scheme was brought in. The original bank guarantee scheme was brought in. It was brought in for two years. We were told it would end on the 29th of September 2010 and that it would not be extended beyond that date. That's what's in the law. That's what's in the legislation at the moment. Now, there may well be a case for changing that for particular categories of, uh, of debt, but it should be done here openly. It should be brought in up front. This is what we're proposing to do. Here's the piece of legislation. Here are the conditions attached to it. Debate it and decide it. That's not what you're doing. What you're doing is underhand. What you're doing is slipping it in, scheduled to a bill, at a point in the bill where it will not be debated at all or only tangentially by the, by the House because there is no, uh, because you're putting a guillotine uh, on it. There is a solution to this, Taoiseach. There's a solution to this. The solution is that you withdraw that schedule from the bill and have it introduced separately. I'm sure that all of us in the House can cooperate with the, the handling of it and the, uh, and the taking uh, of it. You haven't explained why, it's, why there's such a rush to have it all over and done with uh, by 10 o'clock uh, tonight. At very least, a matter of this kind, such seriousness, such amount of taxpayers' money riding on it, requires a bit more debate now than it be put in as a schedule to the bill and then the bill itself being guillotined and put through in one sitting on what is, after all, a kind of a half-day sitting here on a, on a Tuesday.